All right, here at uh, No Reserve, we have our one owner, 1988 Dodge Dakota Sport. It's a two-wheel drive, regular cab, short bed. It's not the long beds. We'll span out here a little bit so you can see it's got that nice short wide wheelbase. It's an all original paint truck. Uh, just got 165,000 miles. It's pretty amazing to see it's been with just uh, one owner its whole life. Always been in the Northwest. Was bought new at Pierre Chevrolet um, in Lake City, which is uh, kind of North Seattle. They're still in business today. It's cool, it's got all its original, both its front uh, dealer plate frames, which are pretty amazing. It's got all its original books, both original keys. Uh, it's got locking uh, lug nuts, but the keys in the glove box. It's got the original brochures that uh, we'll take pictures of. But never had any paint work. This is truly 100% all original paint. You can see it's got really just beautiful shine to it. Uh, they made a truck that looks, the, the Sport is hard to find uh, because they, it looks just like the Shelby one that had the convertible top. But uh, this has got the V6 3.9 liter and it's got the original alloy wheels. Hard to find original center caps. They got the little Ram logo on there. It's got the drop in bed liner that's been in there since new. Underneath the bed's really nice condition. Uh, you'll see full un underside photos. So we'll start off here at the beginning. It's a beautiful truck, but you know, it's uh, 32 years old or going on 33 years old. So you do have a little bit of wear on some of the lack on the paint of the bumper. You know, you got some scuffs, little stuff like this, but uh, you know, still got the original covered fog lights. Fog lights work. It's got the little Dakota covers, um, the Bill Pierre Chevrolet, Lake City. The Chevrolet, the Dodge is a little bit faded, but this is all the original stuff that I love. Um, plastics are good condition, some little, you know, little marks on the roads, but no condensation in any of the lights, no chips in the grill. They still have a nice black look to them. There's a little bit of strange little dent here. You chip the paint. But you can see all the body lines are in beautiful condition. You know, you do have your little typical stone chips that you'll find along the front fascia. You know, these have the aerodynamics of a shoe box, so you're gonna catch some of these guys. But what's impressive is, it's got the original front glass. It's got the, the Dodge logo right there. There you go. You know, we had full service done, but we'll do a driving video and talk about all that stuff. Um, but it runs and drives awesome. No issues. Mirrors are really nice. Door felt. I mean, this truck was probably always garaged by the condition of it. You know, all the rubber's in good shape. I mean, these trucks, you know, if you let them sit out, they would just get pretty hammered on. You know, you got a little chip in the paint here, but all the all of the factory rubber fender flares are nice and soft. They're not plastic and brittle. You know, so all the wheels have a little bit of the clear coat issues on them, but they still look great. I mean, the silver is still beautiful on these. Um, it's got uh, Toyo tires to stock size. They're 215.75. See if I can find the date code on these bad boys. Um, not seeing them on here, so they're probably on the back side. Um, but uh, I'll get some photos of that and list what year those were made. But uh, you know, it's got that little kind of little scuff in the decal. This is all decal. A little bit of door wear, entry wear, behind the gas doors in just beautiful condition. Gas cap still hinged, never been pulled and broken wheel you can see the writing on the frame back there bunch of photos will be included of the underside because there's just really cool stuff like original stampings never had spray paint or cheap undercoating just hundred percent down stock down to the stereo you look at the rear tail lights are just a beautiful shape nice smooth shiny still you know some little scratches stuff like that come little chips but no side entry real wear no dings no dents. the front bulkheads nice and straight Again, it's got the uh, Chrysler badge with the safeguard uh, rear uh, factory rear window. Rear bumper's got some scuffs on the corner there. Probably got a little close to something. It's got a little paint chip and a little bit of dent right here. You know, a typical wear, probably where your foot goes. And then up you go. The decal Dodge looks awesome. Of course, you have some scuffs on the top, some little scratches. But uh, closes really nice and easy. I mean, all along in there, just beautiful shape. I mean, throughout this truck, underneath the hood, the door jams, everything is just nice, shiny paint. You can see down there, the factory two-tone. The black is paint, and then the silver is decal, and the graphite is decal, and the Dakota is decal, so. Take you all around here, you know, little scratches, stuff like that, but these trucks, there is a very soft, little, tiny, little 
crease in the bed here. There you go, you can see it. No paint damage, so you could get a paintless dent guy to iron that out. You can see all the felts are in good condition. Mirrors look great, no cracks or chips in any of the glass. I mean, all the rubbers, look how nice and soft that is, nice and black. You know, there's a little bit of wear on the Dakota decal there. Around the antenna, it's just beautiful. No paint lifting issues. Take you around here to the front. Just really good looking. So we'll go, uh, we'll jump inside and then uh, we'll go underneath the hood and then we'll get a driving video going on. Basically, the door panels are mint. I mean, you couldn't ask for better ones. Uh, they're not faded, not cracked, never been off, not pulling away from the door. And the paint, look how beautiful that is. Just shiny all the way through. I mean, these Dakotas, you'll find the S10s and you'll find the Rangers, even though those ones are getting to be super tough. But you just don't, you can't find these Dakotas like this. They just weren't preserved and saved and cherished as much. And I don't know why, because they're just killer trucks. The dash, you got a little bit of wear here on the stainless steel look. But other than that, there's no cracking, no fading. All the original uh, stereo. Not never smoked in, no odors. Dome light works, got your 80s, the headliner sags a little bit. I'll go ahead and take all this stuff and I'll just put it right up here. Cool little, uh, these are actual real cup holders. In the 80s, you usually get something that's really shallow. Like in the S10s, it's about as thick as this, it's not gonna hold anything. This holds real cups, so nice to see Dodge was ahead of the program. You can see three, it's kind of a medium sized truck. It's uh, you know considerably smaller than a full size, but it's bigger than a Ranger and bigger than a, um, a S10, which is awesome. The carpets are in really nice condition. There's photos of that underneath. Little cargo area where the uh, the jacks in there, all that stuff. I mean, just really beautiful. Even the kick pan, look how clean that is. Let me take you over to the top here. You see the felt, it's just really nice. And this truck just blows me away. And uh, I love it because it really does look like a shrunken down square first gen Dodge. You know, you put this next to an 88 Dodge Ram diesel and uh, you can just see the family resemblance. The paint is just killer. This red is just one of the best looking reds I've ever seen. I mean, it's really close to the, uh, the Chevy Victory Red. There's your decal, no paint lines, no sprit, no overspray. And look at that seat. I mean, if somebody were to tell me this truck's got, you know, 75 to 95,000 original miles, I'd believe it by the way the interior is. Carpet's in magnificent condition underneath. You know, you got a little bit of wear on the leather, and it's real leather, but otherwise it looks really good. All the gauges work, 165, 066. All the buttons are nice and clear. We'll go ahead and pop the old hood. And again, you'll see the kick panel. I mean, it just looks killer. Hood pops open nice and easy. I just love this old Bram logo. Let's see, here we go. You can see the motor's nice and clean. Obviously not spotless. It's you know, 30 plus years old. You can see the paint all along here. Everything's there, nothing's missing. The rubber on the inner fenders, you know, coolant cap. Nothing's been tampered with. It's got full tune-up, fluids changed. Alrighty. So this is gonna be going at no reserve. Uh, true one owner, a 1988 Dodge Dakota Sport. So good luck everybody.